What's going on guys welcome back to Flutter Central and in this video we're going to be seeing how to create something like a profile photo chooser uh, in Flutter and if so if I just so yeah just to show you click on this button it shows us this image chooser and we can uh, so as you can see it's a native uh, image picker and what you can do is we can click on this and we can resize it according to our will actually that's not yeah we can resize it like this and we click done it gives us a profile photo circular profile photo like that uh, again we can do it with multiple photos and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose this one now and there you go so yeah uh, that's what we're going to build today so stick around and let's move over to the setup part so to build the functionality we're gonna be using two plugins one of them is called the image picker the other one is called image cropper and if we take a look at our setup here, uh, I want to start with the popspec.yaml file and here I have added both of those dependency. Uh, next in our main.dirt, it's a very simple project. We have our my app, it's doing nothing, just our material app and passing the home. And in our home, we have a scaffold with just uh, an elevated button at the center and when you click on it, it simply says to do right here. So that's our initial setup. Actually, no, we have to do a few more. So in our info.list file, so to get this file, you go to iOS, then runner, and then info.list file right here. Uh, we need to add this few dictionary values. Uh, this will be given in the description below, and I'll also put the link of those both of those dependencies in the description, so you don't have to hunt them down. And you're gonna go to, if you go, and we need to add one more thing, add our Android, then app, then source, go to main and finally android manifest file and here you're gonna have to add this line and this activity here and that's it that's all about setting it up so let's actually get to the coding part all right so now before i actually get to the coding part i need to do one more setup in the web web section now if you if you're not concerned about web you can just skip this part however what we need to do is we need to go to our web slash index.html and inside our head tag we need to add this piece of code again the code will be in the description however i always recommend people to look at the latest documentation uh, depending on when you are watching this video so go to the documentation uh, they have all these codes available uh, if they change in the future you will have the latest code there anyways so let's actually now get started we're gonna go to our profile for student uh, this is where we will be writing all our logic code however uh, this is not the best practice for organization because this is that is not the focus of this video i assume you have some sort of architecture there so just follow the best practice of that architecture in this video we're just going to be focusing on the logic part all right so here we'll create a function that will return a future of something called an x file an x file is a data type that is given to us by the image picker plugin so we'll just import that and we'll create a function called pick an image and yeah, the X file can be downloadable because uh, sometimes what happens is that the user might click cancel and you know, the file is not in that case. All right, so we have pick an image. It will not return anything. It will be an async function. And in here we'll create something called the picker uh, file, uh, image picker instance. That is simply, well, picker equals to image picker. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna return await picker dot pick image. And in for the pick image uh, function, we need to provide something called an image source. Now the source can be two things. We have image source, if we go to image source dot, uh, we have two options. We have our gallery and camera. Now depending you know, on your need, you will have to choose or you can actually give users both option, like pick from camera, pick from gallery. However, in my case, I'm just working on emulator, so I'm just gonna go to, with gallery just to keep it simple. And it has more options so if you can see here we have image quality we have max height we have max weight and so on and so forth just go ahead and play around with the settings I think they're all self-explanatory so I'm not I'm not gonna uh, go ahead and explain them to you just to save some time however you can try it I, I usually keep them default just to get the best one possible Next, we're gonna create something called another, we're gonna create another function and this will return a future of cropped file and it can be null. Um, 
subtypes they can cancel it again and we're gonna call it crop image and in this function we'll take some uh, a string called path right uh, so what this will do is return an x file and the x file will contain something called a path and this uh, crop image will take a path it will just take that path again it will be an async function and we have to import it again we import it from the image cropper plugin now for this we have to create something called a cropper instance and so we'll just say cropper equals to image cropper and again it's kind of similar and here we, all we do is we return we await of course and then cropper dot and we simply call the crop uh, image path and we're gonna pass the path that we pick now that's the simplest setup you can have however you can also do if we go into the function here you can see that it has a, a lot of default values and you can go ahead and change those so you can uh, choose your own aspect ratios you can choose your own compressing formats and you can do it again self-explanatory setting I'm not gonna try because if you need it I think you already know what you so what you're trying to do uh, so we'll just keep it like that so that's pretty much the same thing again I'm just showing you how to work with it and you can actually take a look at the documentation for details but most of the settings are just self-explanatory there right there so uh, in our crop choose photo function we're gonna delete everything and uh, before we do that actually I should probably store something called path here just uh, because we, we should be displaying this right here so we choose that and here the first thing we do is we get our file picked file file equals to await we're gonna call pick an image function and this will give us a file so and we, we must check if the file is now so if this is equals to now uh, we simply return because we, we don't do anything however if it is not now in that case what we do is we check the file path so we say well final path is equals to well the pick file dot path just like that next we're gonna have to get a crop file so we just crop it uh, if we need to however you don't have to crop it uh, remember the cropping for section is kind of optional however you should probably give your user to um, uh, have a cropper so that they can crop and rearrange the image accordingly so we'll just await here and call crop image and we give the path uh, the next what we need to do is simply say well if file again if it's now um, we simply return uh, else what we do is we just set state and say well this dot path equals to crop file dot path and that's pretty much all about cropping now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that image and display it in our um, app here so what you're gonna do is we're gonna create uh, context menu it is not showing me anything that's okay just gonna reformat that and it should show me up so we're gonna wrap it with a column so this is now inside a column and what you're gonna do is we're gonna uh, add an if statement if path uh, is not equals to now we're gonna show something so we're gonna show image dot file and we're gonna create a new file instance and the file instance takes something called a path so we'll just pass that path in and we, we will get an error here and that's because the path can be null so now you can go ahead and put a bang operative here however what I try to do is uh, I find it I find the bang operator kind of unreliable sometimes it can force something uh, you know you, you can uh, subconsciously do something that you're not supposed to do so what I usually do here is create a local instance Let's create a local variable here and what that does is um, because it's a local variable the compiler now knows for sure that this will never if, if you once check it not null it will never be null for at least for this uh, scope so yeah the, just that, that's that so if we now go ahead and save it uh, well yeah it's supposed to be there and for that we can just uh, rearrange your size to minimum yep uh, it's not the most beautiful UI in the planet but well it works and we get our cropping section here you can go ahead and crop it according to your will I'm just gonna yeah uh, just to show you I'm gonna make it square and click done 
and it is a square. However, it looks nothing like a profile photo now, and that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna change that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is wrap it with something called an uh, clipper, right? Now, uh, to make it circular, there are multiple ways of doing it. Uh, I'm just, I, I just like to do it with clipper rect, but again, it's not unique. Flutter gives you a lot of ways to do the same thing. So we're going to go to clipper rect, and it takes something called a border radius. Now, for border radius, we're going to pass in border radius for circular. And what I usually do is I just put a really big number, like 10,000, and this always makes sure that the image is going to be circular. Uh, what we can do next is we just um, add something like oh uh, yeah so it's very big now so what we do is we make it shorter how do you make it shorter well we add a size box here so uh, we just pick a height and let's say 150 150 should do it wait it's gonna be 150 and there you go it's now a profile photo however there's a bug. Uh, let, me, let me just show you. If I choose something else like this, it's a very long photo and if I click done, you can see it's not really circular, is it? Uh, and that's because uh, here we are making it, we're just cropping the image in a circular fashion. Uh, but we need to also fit it. We need, we need to actually expand it so it fills the image. And for that, we go to our image widget here and we pass in a box fit. And we add box width that cover and now it's no matter what image you pick it's always going to be circular so if I pick this uh, it is not circular there you go yep so it all works in all cases now yeah you can now go ahead and play around with the size here or the radius actually uh, I think the radius is good enough for this one and yeah that's it yeah. so we now have a profile photo chooser just like we uh, saw in the introduction so that's it for this video uh, I hope you learned something new from this again uh, the link to this repository will be given in the description below and all the all the dependencies will also be given in the description below so thank you for watching see you in the next video